The Apothecary Diaries is very, very good, very interesting. It's a bit like Ace Attorney, but less silly. Like, there are definitely moments of comedy, but they are far in, in between. Like, moments when the main character goes chibi, when she's giggling, looking at stuff, when another guy who wants her attention acts a bit silly. But for the most part, it's very serious. It's set in, I believe, 18th century China. I know it's said this in China. Just I thought at first it was way far back, because there are moments where... Common sense of... It reminds me of when in Victorian times they found out that asbestos, the stuff that they would make for houses, was very poisonous. It's like, oh shit, we shouldn't be using this. There are loads of moments like that where they're like, yeah, honey is poisonous to infants, which even I didn't know. So there's things you can learn from this that are a bit common sense for people in this profession of being an apothecary. But, oh, Mau Mau herself, the same in the main character, Mau Mau, she can be very adorable, very intelligent, very alluring as it were but as a character you grow to love her because she can she's very caring in her own way of yeah don't do this this is bad this is poisonous this is dumb there are also moments of psychology yep this moment right here very psychology moment of where the episode can take you in the direction of oh didn't expect it to go there like it very much reminds me of Ace Attorney of when you first ever played slash watched the Ace Attorney series. Because, uh, yeah, in this moment, they were going towards psychology, and they are asking Mama because she's very intelligent. She's like, oh, can you tell us about this? And she's like, yeah, not many people know about this because no one's really so this. And it's like, yeah, that makes sense because, you know, everyone has a important job to do. They don't really have the resources or time to say to someone, hey, your job is to now study things that don't really haven't been studied before. It's like, yeah, we can't do that because, one, this needs to be done, this needs to be done. So, yeah, it does bring great curiosity when it's like, oh, because as you look things up like sleepwalking, it's like, oh, this wasn't studied until, like, the 19th century? What the hell? is this? because, yeah, because it wasn't really an issue. It's like, yeah, because people sleepwalk. Is it causing an issue? No. We need to focus on things that are causing an issue. Right. So things like war, yeah. Disease, yeah. But, yeah. I do highly recommend it. It's got a wonderful soundtrack. It's got... The animation's not fantastic, but it, and design-wise, it's like, yeah, this is 18th century China. <laughs> but Mao Mao herself is very adorable, very smart. You feel smarter just by listening to her. You really feel... Uh, you can connect with her on work issues in the sense of, oh, these people aren't doing their actual job. These people are just assholes, these people are trying too hard, these people are suffering. There are tearjerker moments, there's a lot of tearjerker moments. There's a lot of... You might not enjoy it in the sense of, ugh, people live like this. It's like, yeah, people live like this. So, if you have trouble with that, I really wouldn't recommend it, because there's a lot of, oh god, this... People couldn't have lived like this. If you can get past that, then yeah, you won't find any real issues with this. Because yeah, ooh. Sorry, mostly focuses around Mama sorting out people's problems because she's very smart and the people around her aren't that smart and they explain why she's super smart. It's a lot of sense of, oh, she was born this way. It's like, no, nah, there's a reason. And seeing her go nuts over herbs reminds me of whenever I'm playing Kingdom Come Deliverance. Just like, <gasps> herbs need to cover mine. Ah, this is useful for this. Well, not that yet. Not yet. I'm not that early at Kingdom Come Deliverance. I'm more just in sense of, <gasps> herbs. Ah. So seeing her do that was just like, ah, oh, that's me in Kingdom Come Deliverance, not doing what I should be doing. Uh, yeah, the other characters are interesting in their own manner as well. It is a bit much to learn about Unix, Unix and being like, oh yeah, this is how the Emperor worked. Because back then, child rates, childbirth rates were very low, so then the Emperor needs an heir, so it's like, okay, yeah. We're going to have an entire establishment based around the Emperor having four concubines and they will give birth to his child hopefully uh but yeah it goes into good detail not too much detail it doesn't go into well then again maybe for more slower minded people a lot of things might go over their head and they'll just be like oh this is boring see it watch the first few episodes as usual if it's not for you it's not for you if it's for you i would highly recommend you watch more because it gets really interesting really fun yep 
Those are my two cents. Yep, I highly recommend Poppy Curry Diaries, one of my favorite animes so far that I've watched this year. So, yep. Yeah. Until next time, bye.